Hello students, welcome to your English class. The first chapter in our course book is The Three Races, starting with the same, which describes about a boy who is of very sportive nature and is very fond of taking part in competition and also winning the competition. So let us read about this boy. An old fable retells the story of a young athletic boy hungry of success. For him, winning was everything and success was measured by such a result. So here it is a fable. Fable is a short story or statement which is uh, not true, but it, it, it intends to give a lesson, a teaching or a moral. So what was, what was the kind of the boy? What kind of boy was that? He was an athletic natured boy. That means he was of very sportive nature. Now one day the boy was preparing himself for a running competition in his small native village for himself and two other young boys who were to compete with him. So he was preparing for a competition in his native village. Native means a place where a boy or a person is born and also brought up. That is called the native place. For example, if we are born and brought up in Jaipur, then Jaipur is a native place. A large crowd had congregated to witness the sporting spectacle and a wise old man upon hearing of the young boy had travelled far to be a witness. So a large crowd had congregated that means a large crowd had gathered gathered there to witness the sporting spectacle that means an event which is to be happened for the first time and will not happen again. A wise old man also uh, after hearing it had travelled from far place to be a witness that means to watch the uh, race. The race commenced with the three competitors very close to the finishing line but sure enough the young boy dug deep and called on his determination, strength and power. He raced faster than the rest and reached the winning line. So what is given here that race commenced, commenced means started, the other word for commenced is started with the three competitors. How many competitors were there? Were there three. They were close to the finishing line but the boy was very sure about his winning. So on his determination, determination means the thing about which we are very sure. Strength and power means he was very determined, he was very sure that he is going to win the race. He raced faster than the rest and reaching the winning, winning line. So he raced faster than that means he ran faster than the rest and reached the winning line. He was first. The crowd was ecstatic. Ecstatic means very uh, happy. They all cheered for his winning and cheered and waved at the young boy. The wise man remained still calm, expressing no sentiment. The boy, however, felt proud and important. And important. So the wise man remained still calm. That means he did not uh, find something special in it. He did not uh, find that he uh, it was something difficult for him to achieve. So uh, he expressed none of the sentiment. Sentiment means any kind of feeling. So he did not show any kind of feeling. He was just calm and quiet. That huh, he was determined to be to be the winner. So uh, he did not show any kind of feelings. The second race was called. Now there was a second race called and two new young fit challengers came forward to run with the young boy. So again two new young fit challengers. Challengers means the competitors who are, who are uh, accepting the challenge. Uh, so they came again, they came to uh, compete with that boy. The race started and sure enough the young boy came through the finish, came through and finished first once again. So again the race started and the boy was very sure about winning it and the same happened and finished first once again. That means he was first once again. The crowd was ecstatic again and cheered and waved. So again they saw him winning and again they were ecstatic. That means they were very happy, feeling very happy for him and they cheered for him and waved for the young boy. The wise man really remained still calm again but the wise man again was calm. Why? Because again the boy was sure that he will win and he won the race. So he did not find anything unusual in it, anything to be cheered, something like that he did not find. So he was again uh, very calm and quiet, expressing no sentiments. That means he did not express any kind of sentiments. The young boy however felt proud and 
important but the young boy still felt very proud and important that means he felt special about himself that he won the race another race another race pleaded the young boy so the two race he already won but still the um, he was very much hungry for winning hungry for success that is why again he pleaded for another race now the wise man what did he do the wise old man stepped forward and presented the young boy with two new challengers an elderly frail gentleman and a blind lady so what did he do he presented two new competitors and though who were those competitors an elderly frail gentleman and a blind lady frail here means a uh, very weak the person with a very weak personality Uh, so if a, it was a very frail gent gentleman as you can see here the gentleman is very frail one and uh, there is a blind lady now what is this quiz the young boy so he was a surprised to see that when he when he was able to defeat those two challengers that uh, then how can uh, what's the reason of bringing these two uh, competitors one is a frail man and one is a blind lady so he just quiz that means he just question what is this this is no race so he exclaimed that this is no race means he was very sure that i will win so he was uh, uh, he said that this is no race i am already the winner in this race said the wise man that mean then wise man said that race now run you must compete now the race started and the young boy was only finish was the only finisher that means the other two person they did not start the race they were standing there only and he was the only finisher the other two challengers left standing at the starting line so they were still standing standing at the starting line the crowd however was silent showing no sentiments towards the young boy now the other two competitors did not run did not run that is why what will the crowd say the boy was running alone so you can't win when you are running alone there must be some competitors also so the uh, crowd was also in a puzzle that uh, uh, should they cheer up or not so they did not express any kind of sentiments the young boy was also puzzled now that i am alone at the uh, star, uh, finishing line so he was also puzzled now what did he do next what what has happened why do you people not join my success he asked the people that why don't you join my success that means why don't you cheer up now why don't you wave now he asked the wise old man race again <coughs> replied the wise man so he asked the wise old man why do you not join my success so the what did the wise man replied race again this time finish together all three of you finish together so what did he say now that this time you all must finish together all three of you he uh, repeated the same thing twice that finish together so the boy understood he thought a little and then what did he do the young boy thought a little stood between the frail man and blind lady so he now stood between those two and then took the two challengers by hand now he to hold hold it the hand of both the challengers and what did he do now <coughs> he took both of them and then walked slowly towards the finishing line let's read further the race began and the young boy walked slowly ever so slowly to the finishing line so he walked slowly towards the finishing line and crossed it the crowd was ecstatic and cheered and waved the boy now the crowd was really feeling happy for the boy they cheered and waved at the boy the wise man smiled gently nodding his head the wise man was also happy previously he was not showing any kind of sentiments but now he smiled gently nodding his head the young boy felt proud and important but he couldn't understand for whom the crowd was cheering so the boy felt proud and was happy also but still he did not understand that why, for whom the crowd is cheering for me or for these two people so he asked the wise man wise man i understand not means he said that i didn't don't understand for whom is the crowd cheering which one of us asked the boy for from three of us for whom the crowd is cheering that was the question of the boy the wise old man looked at the young boy's eyes placing his hands on the young boy's shoulder shoulders replied now the wise man was very polite to the boy and what did he say to the boy young boy for this race you have 
won much more than in any race you have ever run before for this race the crowd cheered not for any winner so what did he say for this race you have won much more than any other race you have ever run before that means in this race we are winning something special which you have not won in previous races for this race the crowd cheered not for any winner that means the crowd is, crowd is not uh, um, cheering for any winner they are cheering for all three of you it cheered for three for all three and especially for you as a winner again and again so the uh, the crowd is cheering for all three of you that means what is the model that we are learning from this uh, story that winning alone every time doesn't matter but when you win then how much do you help others to accomplish something to uh, achieve something to move ahead in the life to gain something new in the life that is more important winning alone is not important but when we also help others to accomplish their goals in life to uh, uh, reach uh, um, their destiny to reach their aim to move forward or move ahead in life then that is more important in comparison to you own go uh, get the prize or you own be the winner that is more important that means the person who is coming first in the class he, the person is happy that he is coming and he or she is coming first in the class but if you also assist others in learning something or helping something understand that then that then that gives you more happiness so that is the moral of the chapter hope you enjoyed reading it and learned something from it Thank you thank you for watching thank you for listening it thank you